Pokemon Legends ZA is set to come out in 2025, and there's a lot we still don't know about this upcoming game. As such, there's a lot of fan theories running around in the community. Some say it'll take place in the future, some say it'll take place in the past. Considering the only other Pokemon Legends game we have so far takes place in the past of its region, I think my favorite fan theory at this point is that this is going to take place in the Pokemon World equivalent of the renovation of Paris that happened in the mid-1800s. This makes perfect sense to me, considering that Lumio City, which this game takes place in, is the Pokemon World's equivalent of Paris, France, and all the mentions in the trailer of Lumio City undergoing a redevelopment. That being said, with all that's unknown still about this game, there's one thing I'm sure we are all wondering about. Who are the starters gonna be? Now, Pokemon Legends Arceus gave us three starters from previous games instead of making its own, so we're going to go ahead and assume that that is going to continue to be the case in this game. But rather than giving us the usual evolutionary line, it gave us three new Hisuian forms for their final evolutions. Now, as I said before, there's only been one other Pokemon Legends game, so there isn't a pattern really to go off of. But for the sake of this video, we're just going to assume that some of the things that Pokemon Legends Arceus did are going to continue on into this game. With that being said, let's discuss who we think the starters are going to be in Pokemon Legends ZA. Eh? Okay, now first and foremost, we're just going to go right ahead and cross out the Paldean starters to begin with. Because those are the current starters in the current gen game, and I really don't think they're going to give those to us once again in the same generation. On top of that, we're also going to go ahead and cross out the starters that were used in Legends Arceus, as I also don't think they're going to give us the same set twice in a row. Very similar logic, that already takes six options off the menu. Moving ahead once again here, I've seen a lot of people online talk about how it's entirely possible that they just give us the Kalos starters in this game, but a lot of those arguments have also been based on a theory that this is going to happen in the modern day or even slightly into the future. But considering we're coming at this from the idea that this is going to happen about 200 years in the past or so, we're going to go ahead and cross out the Gen 6 starters as an option. Because quite honestly, I do think they're going to stick with the example that Pokemon Legends Arceus gave us, and give us three completely different starters from completely different games. Now, as with Legends Arceus, I do think that the three Kalos starters are going to be catchable in the game, I just don't think they're going to be the starters. Now, with that done, that leaves us with six remaining options in each type, and this is where I think we have to start talking about Mega Evolution. In Pokemon Legends Arceus, they gave us a bunch of new Hisuian forms for existing Pokemon, including the three starters' final evolution. However, with this being Kalos, and with the big stress point at the end of the trailer being that Mega Evolution was making a return, rather than giving us a new regional evolution for the starters, I think it's entirely possible that they actually give us three new Mega Evolutions. We may end up getting both, but I think it's more likely they're going to give us a Mega Evolution. In which case, I think it's reasonable to state that any starters that already have Mega Evolutions are unlikely to be the starters for this game. So we're just going to go ahead and cross out the Gen 3 starters as well as the Gen 1 starters, because they also had those right in the base game. Now you may notice, having said that, I didn't cross out Charmander. And I did that for a reason. Considering that Charizard seems to be Game Freak's favorite Pokemon of all time, and they keep giving it new forms and functions with all the new gimmicks in every single game, I think it is incredibly likely that Charizard is going to get something new in this game. Especially considering it really didn't get anything in Scarlet and Violet. On top of that, besides Mewtwo, Charizard is the only Pokemon in the game that has two different Mega Evolutions, both X version and Y version. And you might already see where I'm going with this, because it is entirely possible that considering the name of this game is Pokemon Legends Z, it is entirely possible that they give Charizard a third Mega Evolution, and we're going to end up with Mega Charizard Z. Does that mean we might also get a Mega Mewtwo Z? Maybe! But that's a potential video for another day, so we're just going to leave that aside for now. Anyways, now that we've said all that, this is what the list looks like currently. We're going to move out of the realm of things I'm more certain of, and move a little more into territory where I know I'm just spitballing. And one of the assumptions that I'm going to make, considering we had two separate games not all that long ago that took place in Sinnoh, despite one of them being called Hisui, more because of Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, I don't think that the Gen 4 starters are going to be used because we just had them in a game. And that leaves us with three options for water and grass and four options for fire. And looking at it again right now, that leaves the Gen 2, Gen 5, and Gen 7 starters up for grabs, which I'm not sure that they would do the same set of gens for the starters again. Would they take at least one from those gens? Probably. 
but I really don't think they'd go for all three from the same set of generations again. Which is honestly making me feel a lot better about what I was saying about Charmander as an option. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and leave Charmander as a big question mark. Because as much as I said it, and I do see the logic for Charmander being a starter, I don't necessarily think they would actually make it a starter. The possibility's still there, but I think it's more likely at the end of the day that Mega Charizard Z will pop up as its own thing later in the game. Maybe not as an option for one of the starters, but just as something that you can capture and use later on. Which leaves us with the remaining options. Now I don't really have any good reason to cross out any of the remaining starters here, so I feel like this is the point where we just start making our picks. Out of the fire type starters, leaving Charmander aside as a potential option, but not one of the ones I'm actually picking from, we have Tepig, Litten, and Scorbunny. Now, I think it's incredibly likely that one of the Gen 8 starters is used here, but which one is up for some serious debate? Now, honestly, out of the three, I think that Score Bunny is probably the most popular of them, and therefore probably the best option. Because as much as I love Grookey, I have to acknowledge that the other two are more popular. Outside of VGC, anyway. Rillaboom is ever-present there. But as much as I know people love Sobble, I think they like it more as its base evolution. So we're gonna go overall with Score Bunny as my pick for the potential fire starter here. And because I think Score Bunny is gonna be the option, we're gonna go ahead and cross out Grookey. We're gonna cross out Sobble, and that's gonna immediately eliminate Litten and Tepig as well from the running. And with that being said, that leaves us with two options for the grass starter, Chikorita and Snivy. And honestly, despite the fact that I love Snivy, and Chikorita is probably my least favorite Grass Starter, I'm gonna go ahead and say Chikorita. At the end of the day, I love Grass Types. It is my favorite type above all. And because of that, I pick the Grass Type Starter in every single Pokemon game. At least for my first playthrough, anyway. However, the only games that I didn't do that in was Gen 2, because Chikorita just didn't catch my attention at all. And even to this day, I don't think Chikorita is a very good Pokemon. However, being the Eternal Grass-type fan that I am, I would love to see Chikorita get a new final form, or even a Mega Evolution. Anything to make this thing good. And because of that, I'm gonna hope that Chikorita becomes the starter and gets something new. And because of that, I'm gonna cross out my boy Snivy. But since I picked Chikorita for the Grass starter, I gotta cross out Totodile, which sucks because Totodile is my favorite Gen 2 starter. And because I did all that, that would leave Poplio as our water starter for the game. And that brings us to our final picks for the starters in Pokemon Legends ZA, with our picks for starters being Chikorita, Scorbunny, and Poplio. Though I'm still not crossing Charmander off this list because I really don't put it past Game Freak to give Charizard yet another new form. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and if you think I should do more content like this, make sure to let me know in the comments. Thank you all for watching. Peace.